All right, uh, on the way to work, I have a coaching um, on some of the magic flute stuff. Uh, forgot my sunglasses, but I don't have time to go back, so. I know a lot of you guys don't like when I wear them, but I love wearing them, so here we go. Hi, I'm here at work now. I'm in the uh, rehearsal room. I'm in a rehearsal room. Gotta work on some rep before my coaching. Skateboarded to work today. It felt awesome. Um, I'm very excited for the boosted board to get here. Probably not gonna get here for like another month because you know, my luck. <sighs> Gotta get to work. home now, I just wanted to do a quick Q&A. I know this is Friday's vlog, but I forgot to post out about the Q&A for yesterday, so I figured I'd wait, do it today, let you guys have some more time. For those of you who don't know, usually I'll do a Q&A once a week or kind of whenever, and I have you guys send me questions on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, everything, just everything, uh, Instagram. And you can send me video questions as well on Twitter and Snapchat, and often those get put on the blog, so you can see yourself on the blog. I'm just gonna jump right into it. How did you become a member of CT? I became a member of CT by, it was kind of odd. Uh, there was kind of two things going on at once. There was a YouTube video of me singing in a master class with uh, Joyce T. Donato at the time. Dave Monroe actually had seen that, and at the same time, I accidentally befriended Sharon's son one of her sons, who was actually in New York bartending for a summer, and I was actually bartending with him. We got really close and we were hanging out a lot. I had no idea who his mom was. Like, I didn't know she was the producer of, of Celtic Thunder. So he was like, you know, you should, you should uh, sing for my mom's singing group. You should, you know, sing for her. And I was like, okay, your mom's singing group. Then he pulled up Celtic Thunder on his phone, and my response was, of course, like, you can't say my mom's singing group when it's Celtic Thunder, you know? It doesn't really work. Anyway, um, it was actually decided that I was gonna sing for her just for kind of advice, because uh, I was Juilliard and, you know, I only had a year left. And so I showed up and not knowing it was actually an audition, um, I sang for Sharon and she, you know, she gave me that scary Sharon look and she said, uh, come back tomorrow and sing and she listed like four songs. So I did, I went home and I came back and uh, as I was singing, she actually Skyped David Monroe without me knowing. And after I sang, she kind of turned the computer and he was like, what's going on here? And then one thing led to another. I was flown to Ireland to coach with him for a week, I think. And then it was kind of decided upon that way. And that's what led me to you guys. So definitely the best thing that's happened to me so far. Earphones or not eating? Katie, that is a good question. Earphones or not eating? I'm not sure if you could tell from the other vlogs, but earphones, I mean, they're like basically surgically attached to my ears most of the time. I hate doing this. I hate holding the phone up when I'm talking on the phone. So even for phone calls, I'll have the headphones in, but I love eating. My love of eating is part of the reason that Neil gave me my nickname Biggins. So that is a hard decision to make. 
I don't know, I guess though, like with fitness is so big in my life, I'd have to say eating. God, I, I don't I couldn't go without eating. I guess, no, well eating, because I could always listen to music without the headphones, I guess, and just be one of those jerks on the subway. Any plans to come back to Pittsburgh soon? Yes, there are plans to come back to Pittsburgh. There are plans to come back to a f number of places in December. So that hopefully I will have that information for you in the next week or so. What's your least favorite thing about touring and what's your most favorite thing about touring? My least favorite thing about touring, there's not much I don't like about touring. Like I've said this before, if I was touring 11 months out of the year, I'd be a very happy guy and spending the other month planning the tours. <laughs> I love touring because I love I love getting to meet so many people so quickly. Like, you know, you fly in or you roll in that morning, do the show, you roll out that night, and then you go to your next show. So it's like, you know, you get to meet people very, very quickly. I don't know, when you're touring with CT and like sometimes you come up to the venue and catering's not great, that could definitely negatively affect a day, but you know, you make up for it in other ways. My favorite thing about touring, <laughs> that's another thing I don't really know if I could pick one thing. I love, I love traveling, and I love, 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 love doing the shows. So it's kind of combining the two, you know? What have you enjoyed most about Chicago, other than the Lyric Opera, since you arrived a few months ago? That's a good question, especially because I made that vlog about the crime rate in Chicago, and I am was nervous that a few of you may have taken that as me saying I don't like Chicago. I love Chicago. I have some close friends here that aren't in the program, and I'm happy that I get to hang out with them because I haven't seen them since, you know, undergrad. The music scene here is pretty awesome outside the Opera House. That's probably one of my favorite things. Um, the community in Chicago is very united behind the arts here because it's a small community, you know, 2.7 million people for a, sh for a city that's as big as Chicago is. It's not that many people. It's just nice to see a city that has such a united front when it comes to the arts. It's refreshing. Tori Lombard. If you were a superhero, who would you want to be? Did you get my box? From a very young age, I loved Superman. That was kind of, He was kind of my first, like, superhero that I loved because the movies that were coming out. I mean, I, I'm a big nerd. I like a lot of superheroes, but I think to do justice to younger Emmett, I'd have to say Superman. And can I just say very quickly, the idea of Superman versus Batman is the dumbest thing I have ever seen or heard. I know I've seen the, the comic, like I know where that story came from, but it's ridiculous. Superman is an, is, is an immortal alien who can shoot laser beams out of his eyes and fly faster than the speed of light. And Batman is a really rich guy who knows Kung Fu. I'm sorry, like, <laughs> I know, I'm not, listen, I love Batman. I love Batman. I love the Batman franchise. I love the comics. I love the movies. But the idea of Batman versus Superman and it being at all an even fight is just so stupid. The only way that it would be an even fight is if like they were on Krypton and Superman had none of his powers. And it was just two guys having a fist fight. Cause it's so dumb. Like, and listen, I like Henry Cavill Superman. I actually like Ben Affleck's Batman and I'm excited to see where they go with it, but that's why that movie sucked. That's why that movie did not do well because the concept is, I mean, there, there would have to be s such a odd order of circumstances for that fight to happen. Something would have to have to happen where like Superman was in a room that was encased with kryptonite because Superman can fly and shoot laser beams out of his eyes. He can literally fly miles away from Batman and still see him and just zap the crap out of him and just kill him, like melt his body. <laughs> just, I, I don't, moving on. Oh, Tori, yes, uh, I, I know there's a package waiting for me and I'm going to be doing mail time tomorrow, so you will see your package if, if what's waiting for me is your package, which I'm assuming it is. There's gonna be mail time tomorrow. So, get excited. Betsy, would I ever consider playing McNally's Pub in St. Charles? Uh, sure. I actually, this reminds me, I have seen a few of your emails asking about private shows. 
Uh, sorry I haven't gotten back to you. I'm kind of working out my calendar right now, but I will get back to you. And if, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, you can email me at this email address. And uh, to inquire about private shows, I've started to do more of those because people have decided they want those, which is great. Uh, I love that because it's a lot more intimate. Um, usually it gives me more of a chance to get to know the people I'm doing the show for. Uh, I've done I've done a few kind of just general parties. I've done, I think, a birthday once. It's like what happens, I think, is people will get a group of people together and everybody will just chip in to pay for like the whole thing to happen. But again, you can hit me up at this email address. And for those of you who have emailed me, I am going to get back to you. I'm just trying to figure out my schedule. Did you get the gifts I sent you? T-shirt and cap. Heather, I have not. Uh, I have a feeling you probably sent it to my old P.O. box. And if you have, this is the new P.O. box. Sorry about that. Uh, this is a good question. Gabby, do you have any advice for when I begin my music auditions for college? Yes. Do you have any, I do have advice for when you start your auditions for college for like music auditions. Um, don't freak out. If you don't get into your first school, it means nothing. I promise when you're a musician later in life, nobody cares where you went to school. <laughs> it certainly helps if you get to go to one of those schools where you make connections. I was very lucky. I went to CCM for my undergrad, which is in, always in the top three for uh, undergrad programs for voice. And then I went to Juilliard, which is always in the top two for master's programs in voice. I made a lot of connections at those schools, more in Juilliard than I did CCM, but that's because it's in New York. And that definitely helped me the most. But if you are good at your craft, you're good, at your, you're good at whatever instrument you play, or uh, as a singer, you're a good singer, and you're easy to work with and fun to work with, and you do, you do your job well, that's all people care about. Everything else will come. You just have to do it for the right reasons. You have to do it because you love it, not because you want to be famous or because you want money, and you have to do it with respect. You have to be easy to work with and be responsible. Always know your music, you know? And, you know, just don't be a jerk, <laughs> like everything else comes. So if you don't get into your number one school, if you don't get into your number two choice school, it doesn't matter. Just get what you can out of your education, really push yourself. School will feel like it's never going to end. I promise it will. <laughs> It'll feel like it's not, but it will. Um, especially as a musician, you're gonna want to get out there and do it. I was super eager and it was really hard for me to kind of calm myself down in school, but if you're a performer, you've heard this before, the people you're auditioning for really want you to be good because it makes their job way easier. If you walk out and you're awesome, that's one check mark that they can write down because that's like, they don't want you to be bad. <laughs> so literally no one in that room is rooting against you. So just walk out, have fun, walk out, Imagine nobody's there, imagine 10,000 people, whatever makes it so you can have fun. Just go out, love the music that you're auditioning with and go out there and just play or sing. Do what you do, you know, and do it for the right reasons. Do it because you love it and you're having fun. I hope they go well. Having said all this, I was freaking out about my auditions when I was auditioning for undergrad. For masters, I kind of get a better handle on it, so I wasn't freaking out as much. I was definitely nervous though. Just don't freak out, you know, know your craft and just do what you do. I hope they go well. What's your favorite TV show? Uh, I don't really have a favorite TV show. I'm kind of a cinephile. Uh, I'm a big movie buff, big TV buff. I like watching things. Um, so I kind of have, when I'm in between shows or trying to get into a new show, I have like a loop of shows that I watch. I have not yet gotten into Stranger Things. I want to, but I want to have like three days where I could just like nonstop watch it because I have a feeling I'm going to get very hooked. Right now, I just finished The West Wing again for like the 10th time, and I'm watching Parks and Rec again for like the 10th time. I think I'm like halfway through Friday Night Lights again, but I kind of took a break from that to watch Parks and Rec, so I'll probably go back to that. And then, I don't know, I'll let you know when I start watching something new. But you know, I, I watch you know I watch Game of Thrones, I watch, there's, there's shows that are happening now that I definitely keep up with, but I, to say I have a favorite would be hard. <clears throat> That's where I'm going to end the Q&A for this vlog this week. Um, not sure if I'll do one next week. It's gonna start coming kind of sporadic. It's not gonna be Thursdays all the time, or well, today it's Friday, but it's not gonna be on a specific day. It'll just kind of be whatever. 
So watch out on the social medias for when I announce Q and A's and stuff like that. I'll be doing mail time tomorrow. And as I said with mail time before, send me anything you want. PO box in the description and right here. Send me anything you'd like. I will absolutely promote anything you guys make. Uh, if you have a small business, I'm happy to do that because you are part of this vlog family. And it's the very least I can do for you guys because like the Starbucks cards and it, it makes my life a lot easier. Uh, speaking of which, I haven't gone to Starbucks in like two days. I need to get those Starbucks cards and go to go to Starbucks again soon. But hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog, uh, and I will see you tomorrow for mail time. Thank you.